Well, yeah, there is one funny story, and it's from the scene where Juliet and I end up having a pillow fight. Because I remember oh, yeah. I had just gotten to the set, and I, I had just been cast, and I think I had shot one scene before that, and I hadn't met Juliet because the scene I'd shot before was the chocolate is a symbol of love scene, and she wasn't there for that. Oh, yes. So I think I had just met her like five or ten minutes before, and then we're being thrust into this scene, and we're supposed to be best friends. And so I remember, I guess, we, we were doing the scene, and Tommy was like, no, you don't seem like best friends. No, you <laughs> seem like you don't even know each other. And I was like, yeah, because we don't. And he's like, why don't you, you stop beating each other with pillows? Because that's what girls do. And we're like, like, okay, yeah, let's let's do it. That's what girls do. That's, that's what I do with all my friends. So I that, thought that was really funny. And it's just a really ridiculous moment in the, in the movie, I think. It's just suddenly we start beating each other with pillows. But Oh, yeah. <laughs> um and what so what was that like? That was your scenes were uh the the uh uh was that with Scott Holmes? Yes, that chocolate scene. So, so okay, when so when uh when Scott starts doing like making those faces and I mean, what was that like? I mean, we, I mean, we just feel did you feel like you were in outer space or like I mean, I I just got to imagine it must have been just a little weird, you know. <sighs> Yeah, I think he was doing a comedy. The rest of us were, were trying to just draw a drama, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. We were in a different movie. But uh, yeah, so, yeah, I think he was really hamming it up. I mean, we all knew it was bad, and he was really having fun with that. So um, I think he, that's what he was doing. But I was fortunate that I couldn't actually see his face. We all know why. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man. So, um so the Kickstarter now. So what can you guys uh, can you guys tell me some of the the sort of offerings like for d the different levels and um, you know what what people can get when they invest in the in the um, the the, ro the room of the actors. Where are they now? Um, sure. Yeah. To our most popular levels so far have been the twenty five, thirty five, and fifty. Uh, at twenty five, you get a digital down. You sorry, you get. Um, an invite to the web premiere of the movie. So you'll be one of the first people to see the movie online. And we'll have the actors from the room also available via Skype um, to answer questions um, after people see the movie. Uh, and so that's the $25 level. The $35 is you get a digital download of the movie plus all our bonus materials. And we have a mini documentary that we're putting together. We're interviewing the cast of the room as we shoot this um, project and asking them questions about being on set. And we're going to cut that in with some fan interviews. I've um, been to a screening and interviewed a bunch of fans. So I've got a lot of B-roll and I'm going to piece that together. And then you also get deleted scenes and outtakes, and that's all digital, and that's at the 35. And then 50 is a DVD Blu-ray with uh, this, the movie plus all the bonus uh, features on it. Um, and then on up from there, you get like a T-shirt, a poster, a signed poster. And then we've got a lot of like fan interaction rewards also when you get up to like between 150 and 200. Um, and a lot of them are for two people. So if you look at those, some of them are – or for groups, like for our Skype, our Skype one – I think it's like 200 or 225, but you can do it with friends. So you could have like five friends all Skyping in with the room actors and we can answer your questions and stuff like that. Oh, so wow. that's a good one for a bunch of people to go into together if they want to ask us person, you know, questions one on one. Do you have any of those uh, cameo ones where you, you know, like you? Yes. Oh, we yeah. Do have. If you want to come and be an extra or, or be have a speaking role, you can do that. We've got set visits. We've got dinner with the cast. Awesome. We've got co-producer, associate producer. Um, on up to one really cool one is reenacting the Denny and uh, uh, Denny and Chris R scene oh, nice. in front of a green screen. And so <laughs> you get to play opposite the real actor. And then we'll, we'll edit it together and then give you the footage. And if you want us to, we'll put it on our, our bonus stuff on our on our DVD. Oh, nice. If you're interested. So I, that's a really cool one. I love stuff like that. I love, like, the, the interaction with the fans and, like, the fact that um, I never – it's like – I would, if I was like some eccentric millionaire, I'd be investing in these things constantly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like, you know, like uh, like if you were an actor and you're like, oh, you know, thousand bucks or I can get a cameo. I would do this like all the time. Um, so I love that kind of stuff. Um, totally. I, yeah, I think so. If you have the spare cash, why not? <laughs> yeah, exa yeah, exactly. Um, so, oh, so let's talk about... Um, what what you guys have been up to? So, so Julia, have you uh, d uh, done any uh, interesting projects uh, 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 since the last time we talked? Or 
gosh, how long has it been? Um, it's been like a year and a half or something. Is, I think it has been. Yeah, I think so. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've done a few things here and there. Uh, I uh, I tried stand up. Um, since we talked, that was fun. Um, oh, oh yeah, awesome. How how did that go? Yeah. You know, um, I, I, I didn't cry or pee my pants, so I consider that to be a win. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, I think that's one of the hardest things you can do is stand up. I'm always, uh, yeah. And, and, and theater, I, I don't know how people do it. I'm, I'm always impressed by people who can, uh, do theater cause that's so frightening to me, but, um, that's really awesome though. Um, uh, Robin, I wanted to ask, um, you know, in, in the, the video uh, for the for the mockumentary, um, you talked about um, a, a bit about how when the when the movie came out and then it sort of had this cult success, uh, I think you were kind of wondering, wh where do I go from here? Um, yeah. And so I wonder if you could talk a little bit about that or how, how, how it was for you or w was it difficult or I, I don't know. What was it like, you know? Well, it, it first it we, we no one knew about it, so that went on for a few years. So that was great, yeah. <laughs> and that's around the time I went to film school and stuff. And then I think in two thousand eight is when the EW article came out, and then it really just blew up, and then more and more people knew about it. And I mean, it's it hasn't been really difficult, but it, it's getting it's getting to the point where now it's becoming more and more well known, and our names are associated with it. And there's nothing we can do to change that. Yep. yep. And we, you know, you Google our name, you're going to see that's what you're going to see that we're in this movie. And so, and everyone always says, "Oh, it's the worst movie ever made," and the acting's horrible, and blah blah blah. So then everyone just assumes that about us, and and all that. And so that's, I mean, you know, of course it's it's not great. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. so that's part of the reason we're doing this project, mm -hmm. I think just to show that we can poke fun at ourselves and have fun and be in, in, in on the joke. And yeah, um, I think the room was really Tommy's vision and Tommy's baby. And we were all just sort of there. <laughs> yeah. Try to yeah. Well, I, I, I can relate. I mean, I did these, uh, the films, they're sort of, uh, they're satirical comedy horror films and they're called bikini bloodbath, which sounds bad, but they're just kind of campy uh, horror films. And like, I always thought of myself as more of a serious filmmaker and those ones are the most popular movies I've done and I really can't change that. And so I've done all these other ones like, you know, I did a Rudyard Kipling movie called Mark of the Beast and all this other stuff. But ultimately, if you look up my name, you'll see Bikini Bloodbath 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> And so yeah. you know that I'm Googling that right now. <laughs> we'll definitely Google, Google it in a minute. Yeah. So, I mean, they're, they're kind of wacky comedies, but, uh, but you know, so I, I definitely can relate to that and just sort of like, well, I can't, I can't do anything about that, but you know, where do I go? So I always thought that was, uh, you know, I, I definitely dig that, you know? Um, yeah. The, um, uh, as far as you, do you think that, um, I always ask this question, do you, do you think, is there anything you want your fans to know about you or, or do you think, uh, the way you're perceived as a, a public figure is like, you know, off from who you are or any of that stuff? I think probably everybody who's a, I don't even know if you call me a public figure or like a, like a cult, matter. a cult film, <laughs> uh, cult film actor, actress. Okay. You know, or... Yeah. I mean, I think, Probably, you know, I think everybody who's in the public eye is probably not, you don't see exactly who they are. You yeah. have to be friends with them. You have to know them. You have to be around them to really see who they are. And I mean, all people have really seen of me is that I'm in the room and yeah. that, um, then I did this Kickstarter video, which was pretty wacky you know, at the beginning. Um, but mainly I, like I said, I, I write, um, and I'm a normal person. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I really don't even know what the public perception is of me. Yeah. Um, I try not to like read too many message boards or anything like that. I think that's, I, I just think I don't want to read troll comments. I, you know, yeah, stuff like I, know. That. So yeah. It, it, I don't even know what people think. And I just, it, you have to at some point say it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. But, um, um, so Julia, do you, do you, you know, uh, like, do you feel that way that people don't, I mean, they don't really, the image that they get you is just off or I don't know. Well, I tell you this, I almost with absolute certainty, if I die, my obituary, the first thing that it's going to say <laughs> <laughs> is 
is that uh, Juliet was best known as her, you know, um, uh, portrayal of Lisa in the room. However, um, it, that's what I love about social media yeah. is, um, you know, certainly people contact me and it's very, uh, very much on the surface um, at the beginning. But it also has given me a chance to let people know who I am. Right, right, right. Um, and a lot of people have really um, engaged with that and um, gotten to know me, you know, I think on a deeper level because there's so much more <laughs> than, yeah. than, um, than who I was at, at 20 something years old. I think. Yeah. We, you know, we talked to um, uh, Mark Fraser, who's this awesome actor who's in Samurai Cop, which is one of my favorite uh, cult films ever. And, you know, I was talking to him and he's like, uh, Columbia University graduate. He's like he was a NBC uh, e uh, executive, and so it's like he's this like successful, incredibly intelligent person. And then, but if you just watch Samurai Cop, it's like it's mm -hmm. it's like a really campy, silly movie, you know. And it's like I'm always, uh, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised, but it's always like, yeah, I mean, there the you don't like. If you watch someone in a movie, you really don't know anything about them, you know. So I, I, I just think it's really interesting. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people think that we are all like just to agree to be in the movie, then we must all be like complete idiots. But I think it's one of those things when you're a struggling actor in L.A. Um, and you're in your 20s, the, the mantra is from all the acting teachers and everywhere you go, they say, you know, if you get a part in a movie, you should take it for the experience.